Good morning. I wanted to talk about the spiritual, the physical, and something very interesting within the physical, and that is the microscopic. I thought a while back that the spiritual is too big for us to see, and that the physical, namely the microscopic, is too small for us to see. Now, if we make an effort, we can get glimpses of these two seemingly opposite things in life. We can get glimpses of the spiritual in reading certain books, in meditation, in our dreams. And of course, we can get glimpses of the microscopic, the very tiny physical, in a microscope. Now, I read a while back that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. I don't remember where I read it. It seems to be true. And it seems very important that we have balance between the two. Now, when a client, a patient has physical symptoms or psychological symptoms. The number one rule in psychiatry is to first eliminate the physical because the physical can bring the spiritual down very quickly and the spiritual can bring the physical up very quickly. How is it that you could feel depressed discouraged, and then you get a thought, or someone says something to you, or you see something on the television, or you hear a song, and all of a sudden you feel better, physically. Now, you can also feel better emotionally by doing physical things, because, like I said, there must be balance between the two. If you analyze that, that the reason you're feeling bad uh, emotionally is because you haven't been outside in two days, you haven't had any physical exercise, fresh air, sunshine, then go do that and balance out your weekly activity and you'll be surprised how simple physical things can make you feel so much better, whether it's taking a walk or getting some exercise or mowing the lawn or digging a hole and planting a tree. I mean, it's just amazing. So what we hear about in Asian culture, feng shui, balance, is very important. So what about sleep? Yesterday was so hot and I did a lot of exercise and I just couldn't make it to my usual sunset bedtime. I, I laid down at 7.30. Now I didn't go to sleep right away because obviously melatonin, that makes us drowsy, that's released by our brains, that doesn't get activated until darkness. So as I said, I laid down at 7.30 and I started looking at the news on my iPhone and on Apple News and all of a sudden it was 9 p.m. and it was dark enough and I just put the phone away and fell asleep very quickly. When did I wake up? 3.30 in the morning. Is that okay? Sure. I mean, if sunrise is at 6.30 where I am, uh, between 3.30 and 6.30, I could do my morning exercises. I can wash up and freshen up. I could say my prayers. I could do a little spiritual studying with these beautiful books I have. Um, I could, you know, have a blender drink. Um, I, you know, open the, the curtains, the windows, and um, then at 6.30, I'm, I'm ready to start my day. And the hours that melatonin, which is released by the pineal gland in our brain, is active, 
is between approximately 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. So if I was sleeping from 9 p.m. to 3.30, that's plenty of sleep. Anyway, why do you want to be awake at night? Most crimes happen at night. That's when the coyotes come out. Um, it's their turn. It's the animal's turn to be out at night. Criminals have crimes at night because it's easier to, to have a crime when it's dark and people can't see you so well. So, balance. And, of course, uh, balance is important in nutrition also. Lots of uh, fresh foods, vegetables, salads, fruits, whole grains, some, some protein. And the protein that has the most nutrition in it is, are things like eggs, fish, poultry, beans, nuts, seeds. The things that uh, help regularity the most are beans, also ground flaxseed. So if you're not feeling well, try to analyze why. Also slowly or quickly get rid of all the things that in your life that are not beneficial. The three main causes of cancer are smoking, alcohol, and obesity. It's very simple. Why give yourself underlying conditions that are going to lower your immunity and cause you to get all these kinds of uh, viruses and bacteria that are around us? Right now, we can't see it. But right now, there's uh, microorganisms, you know, in the air, in my glasses, uh, in the water I drink, I mean, all over the place. And that's the way it's supposed to be. It, it, it's a, a microscopic world, and, and there's good bacteria also. Um, there are people that wash their hands too much, and their skin starts cracking, and then more bacteria, harmful bacteria, can, can directly enter your flesh. So have balance. And any questions? Uh, let me know and uh, keep trying don't ever ever give up because you don't know what's going to happen I might already be rich and I just haven't heard about it yet right I might already um, there might be somebody living in this neighborhood that's going to be a great friend and I just haven't met them yet keep trying you don't know the future 